What do you think of my dating life? It's not that it sucks, it's just that mom... <laughs> <laughs> Who deletes all of their social media? Uh... Suspicious. Literally one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. Hey, I'm Molly Burke. And I'm her mom, Neve. We're here today and we're really hoping we're gonna find a great man for Molly, who is fun-loving, kind, and caring. Welcome to Awesomeness TV's Date Takeover. At my feet, we have the most important man in my life that these guys will have to compete with, and that's my guide dog, Gallop. Bring on the men! So the men are coming out, and to be perfectly honest, I'm not really seeing anyone that I think is a fit for Molly. Is this the most intimidating thing you've ever done? Mm -hmm. I Pretty feel, much, yeah. I yeah, feel yeah. so intimidated yeah, right now. Say, yeah. The hearts help, though. Yeah. <laughs> All right, mom, so you're taking over for me. What do you think of my dating life right now? It's not that it sucks, it's just that mom- <laughs> <laughs> It's not that it sucks. It sucks. Yeah, it sucks. My name is Juan Felipe, and I'm a good guy in the body of a rebel. Hi, my name is Clint. Let's get lost together. Mm. Hey, I'm Eric, and I'll be your prince, Eric. Mm. I'm Josh. If you're the locket, then I'm the key. My name's Izzy. Let's sing together. My name's Christian, just a Romeo, looking for a Juliet. Pretty sweet. So in round one, my mom's gonna be asking you guys some questions, and we're gonna give you points based on that. So guys, I'm gonna give two points, and Molly's gonna give one. After the five questions, the two with the fewest points will be eliminated from this round. Awesome, awesome. let's do it. Molly, it's time for me to take your date over. All right, <laughs> let's go. I'm all trust you, I'm putting my, my trust in your hands. <laughs> So guys, what is one goal you want to achieve in the next year? So I wrote, have my own apartment. Right now I have a roommate, so I want to move out and be able to live by myself. I'm hoping to put a down payment on a house I've been saving for a while and looking at different states to maybe move to possibly. Mine was a combo of the first two, uh, move from an apartment to a house, just too small a space and yeah, I just want more of that. Yeah. My goal by next year would be to visit the Olympics in Tokyo. Like yeah. as an Olympian? Uh, no, just as, okay, just to go as watch. an audience member. I was like super impressed for a moment. Oh, okay. That's okay. Oh, I mean, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, it's still good, it's still good. <laughs> Izzy? I'm trying to finish my first book. Wow. I wrote Find My One True Love. I plan on traveling and it'll be fun to find someone, you know, to enjoy it with. Okay. <laughs> so I have picked Eric. Thank you. And you're giving both your points? Yes. Bladders. <laughs> Thank you. Mama's pick. All right. <laughs> I'm going to give mine to Josh. Even though you're not going to be an Olympic athlete, Japan is number one on my list of places I want to travel. Oh, great. So, you too. There you go. Okay, guys. So, what is your biggest passion or hobby? This is really important. <laughs> this will be very telling. Yes. Okay, Christian. I wrote helping others in the community. It's oh, awesome. I wrote to create. I'm trying to become an inventor. And I'm also a singer, which is why at the beginning I asked if you like to sing sometime. I said to visit different cultures and learn different stories. I wrote music. I love going to concerts. I love music. All music. I like to get out and unplug, so I wrote backpacking. I like to just take off and get some uh, time away from everything every once in a while. My biggest passion is being creative, but my hobby is doing parkour. I think it's like a thrilling sport. Ooh, interesting. I already know who I'm giving mine to. Do you? Mm-hmm. All right, my point is going to Juan because I think parkour is like the coolest thing ever, and I really want to learn to do oh, it. Oh, thanks. Yeah, Wait, yeah so, I can teach you. That's so cool. Yeah, you definitely get my point for that one. I think I'm going to go with Josh this time. And he gets both points? Um, I'd like to share it out a little bit. I think I'm gonna go with... Juan? Juan, yeah. Juan, Juan. Yeah, awesome, yes. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it's the parkour, did it. So Juan, Eric, and Josh all have two points. The other three have zero points, so we've got a solid tie happening here. We're gonna have to keep going through these questions to break it down, see who's gonna win. What is your one dating deal breaker? I know what mine is. I can't give the secret away. Mm -hmm. This is stressful. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. So I wrote, if my date stays on their phone during our time together. I think that's, that's yeah, that's a deal breaker, oh, for sure. Yeah. It's hard to find in, in 2019. <laughs> I know, right? Everyone is so addicted to their phones, so. There's really only one deal breaker. It's a history of cheating. If yeah. I find out that was okay and in your wheelhouse, then I don't want to play the game again. 
Ooh. Fair. They do say once a cheater, always a cheater. Indeed. Nice. On a similar note, I wrote liars, lying in general. I think trust is everything. Last date I went on, I thought she was single at the time. Her boyfriend comes storming in. I met her on a dating app. It was literally one of the most <laughs> embarrassing moments of my life. And that is uh, some yeah. hot tea. So lying, number one. I agree with all of those for sure. I'm very picky. Like, But I, I guess overall, it just talks too much. Oh. 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 Well, I might not be the one for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a really passionate listener. I do like to have a good, solid communication. I don't like to have any kind of surface level conversation. I really like to get into like who you are as a person. Very good comeback, Josh. Yeah, there you go. You that was a back. tough one. <laughs> I put, uh, if she takes life too seriously, because I really like a girl who can make me laugh, you know, on it. I mean, it doesn't have to be every day, but if, you know, we're just having breakfast or dinner and she brings up something nice about her day, it, you know, it's, it's nice. She's a good one for that. I can Thank attest to that. You. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wrote someone with has no sense of humor, because if we're going to spend the rest of our lives together. I like to be optimistic, positive, bubbly, and jokes come along with that just to ease the day, ease the weeks, ease the months together. Hmm. All right, I've already got my point. Oh. I've got three. Well, so you can I'm... only give two. I can only give two, okay. Um, I'm gonna give it to Eric just for that hot tea. <laughs> 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 just because Black that was like going. such That's a good story, good story. you yeah. get the point. Yeah. <laughs> it happens, you know. Izzy and Juan? Yay, I'm on fire! Yay. <laughs> so, four of you have points right now, and only four are going through. So currently, Clint and Christian, you're on the chopping block. If you don't answer this question and get a point, you're gonna be out. Oh no, single forever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we ready, guys? Yeah. Pressure's on. Okay. So what's the first thing you noticed about Molly? Six people all write purple hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so are we gonna start with Christian. I wrote her beautiful eyes. Nice. Izzy? When I first saw you, you had a really gorgeous smile, and I just, I mean, I was a little captivated, so. Thank you. <laughs> the thing I noticed right off the bat is your creativity. I think you're an incredibly unique and beautiful person, and that, I'm not just saying that from your hair or your nails, but from the way you talk, even the way you sit, and the way you dress, I think is really cool and unique. I'm cool, mom. That's lovely. <laughs> the first thing I noticed when I walked in, beautiful eyes. They're just really pretty. They uh, are very, very piercing. And yeah, it was the first thing that jumped out to me. Thank you. Yeah. Clint? For me, I'm a big animal lover. So when I saw your partner in crime here, Gallup, uh, it was definitely a shining moment. It seemed like you're a big animal lover too. So something we could bond over. Great. Uh, I mean, that's definitely my deal breaker if you don't like Gallup. Okay, Juan. So I wrote as well that I really loved your eyes. You can see them right away. And it's such a unique color. Also, it just gives me this Olivia Wilde vibe. It's, it's unexpected. Well, Neve, my eyes don't work, but apparently they're attractive. So you did one thing right with this one. One's tough. This yes. one's the toughest one. Yeah. One. Yay! <laughs> <sighs> this is tough. Okay, I know who I'm giving my point okay. to. I think I've decided. Okay. I'm going to give it to Clint because of the dog. All okay. right, I'm on the board. <laughs> <laughs> this time I'm going to give it to Izzy. <laughs> no, I liked it. But I liked the others too. It's, it was a very tough round. So guys, one killed it. <laughs> Thank you. And I am so sorry, but we're going to have to say goodbye based on the points to Clint and Christian. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. It's nice to meet you anyway. You too. I could tell there wasn't a vibe between me and them. Yeah. And there was just some things they said, like Clint thinking of maybe moving out of state. Right. That uh, was, you know. I was like, no way. So it's just things like that that didn't feel right to me. So now we're on to round two. We're all getting to know one another a little better. But this is going to be a tougher round, much tougher, because we've been given some dirt on you guys. So we have a few questions to ask you all. It's very intriguing. We learned a little bit about you guys yes. from this. At the end of this round, I'm going to eliminate two of you. I have a very good idea who I'm going to eliminate already. So you guys honestly oh, have to work God. really, really hard. Me. You gotta okay. really impress me on this round, right. okay? Oh God, okay? Yeah. At the end of it though, Molly has the option to save you, okay? We'll so. see, we'll see what I decide. All right, mom, do you wanna get into the dirt? Sure. This was my favorite of all. So we can all enjoy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This is one. 
<laughs> Frankly, we were unsure as to who it was. Yeah, we because... thought maybe this person wasn't even in our group. We had to check. Yeah, we're like, can can we get him here? Like, yeah, we were like, who is he? Oh, Bravo. I mean, I take that as a compliment. Thank Bravo. you. Now I don't feel so bad. Parkour is doing well. Yeah, here. right. Yeah. yeah. But we also had a tweet from you. Oh, uh, uh, this is this is a little. Okay. Just check my bank again. Doesn't look good. Laughing face. How's your Friday? Oof. That was actually like a year and a half ago. It's just because when I graduated and I started working, I was trying to do it without the help of my parents. So oh. at some point I got like too much like into trying to pay bills and like with my credit card. But that took me like two months to fix and get over it. So right now, Happily, I can say that I'm good. So we so. can look at your bank account? <laughs> See, I'm <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna cross some numbers, but sure. <laughs> All right, Eric. Very interesting, Eric. Frankly, we're, we're not sure we understand your humor. Oh, yeah? So this is the one. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you know, I love Natalie. It's just a celebrity crush. Natalie uh, Portman? Natalie Portman. It is. People just... say I look like her all the time. It's the eyes. It's this. There are a couple of uh, friends that I had that also post Photoshop pictures. Oh, okay. there and, and a reason that I do like Natalie Portman isn't just because she's beautiful. I also really like her intelligence. Harvard grad, that's a big thing that I look for. I am not a Harvard grad. <laughs> Josh. Yeah. Josh, can you just take up your t-shirt? <laughs> um, I just want to see what type of jeans you've got on. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay, so these are skinny uh, jeans, right? Yeah. This is the one. Right, yeah. It, it's just cute and fun. Like, I'm uh -huh. really thankful skinny jeans are just as popular as they were in 2012. I am a big fan of, like, clothes that just, like, just fit me. I, I, I don't like loose-fitting things. The fact that skinny jeans have really lasted the test of time of the 2010s, I'm very thankful for that. Oh, they suit you. There was like really no dirt on you. Oh, as our final. No, 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 no. no. This is oh, a very small. serious one. Oh, oh. oh. this is, this is okay. very serious. Never mind. I take Thank it you're... all back. Josh, you could be in very big trouble here. Okay, 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 okay. Serious oh, post. Okay. But I think I'm gonna stop texting using emojis and gifts from right, now on. Right. I love emojis and gifts. You're in the bad book. She's obsessed with emojis. She'll okay. talk purely to I emojis. Live, I live by okay. emojis and gifts. Often on my Twitter, I'll, I'll be joking. I'll, I'll, I'll be playful. Well, actually, that's why I preface that post with serious post. Because when I'm talking one-on-one -on -one with you, I like to really listen to who you are, what kind of person you are, what makes you unique. In fact, what I'm saying there is I have been using emojis and GIFs, but now I want to transition like, okay, let's get to the real stuff. Let's get to like what really makes our conversation meaningful and pure and good. Not too bad. The one we have the most Ooh. questions for <laughs> oh, oh. is our final one in line. And the yes. reason we have so many questions for you is because there was zero dirt on you because you deleted all your social media oh. history. And deleting your history says there was stuff you were trying to hide. <laughs> this is trouble. Right, <laughs> well, <clears throat> let, me, uh, let me start by saying... You're sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Who deletes all of their social media? Suspicious. I have a lot of heavy political views. I'm a Bernie bro. Uh, I make a lot of jokes uh, because I don't really hang with the uh, old style liberals or any Republicans. I'm like, I'm that middle ground. I've got a political bunch here. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want to offend anybody. The times we're living in, you know? Mm, okay, I guess we'll, uh, we'll have to trust you. Oh, I'm starting to sweat now. Um, <laughs> okay, to the so I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but we do have to eliminate two of you. I believe Molly can choose to take one of you back if she wants. Yeah, we'll see. I feel like we're usually always on the same page, so I feel like you're gonna end up picking the two that I would keep. I have a feeling too. Are you ready? Yes. Chris, your date ends here. Oh, is that right? Is that right? That's easy. That's easy. Oh, is he? <laughs> well, I mean, There's a lot of names it's here. It's been, uh, it's been a pleasure, guys. Yeah, Good luck. You, pleasure to you too. Can I say, can I say the name, Izzy? All right. See ya. See ya. Bye, Izzy. Bye, Izzy. Sorry about that. All right, Bye. mom. One more. Try to get the right name this time. Okay. All right. I'm looking at the three of these guys. I got a big one to go. And I'm sorry, but. Josh. Oh, it's the emojis, isn't it? Yeah. It is the emojis, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. Your date ends here. Okay, 
Thank Hi, you. Josh. But at Go least she got your Facebook. name right. Yeah. Yes, she did. Yeah. That's, a, that's a win in my book. Hi, Josh. Have a good Thank one, you. Man. A pleasure nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Everybody. And then there were two. Yeah, and I were nice to meet I don't need to save anyone because these are the two I would have gone between. All right. <laughs> Very flattered. Yeah. Welcome to the third and final round. This time you're going to be going on a date with Gallup, and he will be deciding for my mom and I. Mm. And he's a good judge. <laughs> I'm sure he is. He's actually the exact reason my last relationship ended. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. They didn't oh. get along, so now we're letting him do the decision making. <laughs> Very wise choice. We're going to let each of you come up individually and tell Gallup why you're the one for me. Feel free to come on down, Juan. Oh, awesome. Yay, thank you. Hi, Gallup. I can hear a tail wag, and he rarely oh, wags his tail. It's very submissive. Gallup, I just wanted to say that I think I'm the right person for Molly because I will always be up for an adventure, and I think she would be too. I would be a great listener. I will always be there for her. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you. <laughs> That's very really nice. You. So, tough competition now. Please feel free to come on up, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Eric. Eric. Everyone's going to be a Chris to me now. How you doing, Gallup? Oh, he's a good boy. I don't hear a tail wag. Oof, but you know, it's all about who gets him to come to him first. Gallup, I think Molly and I would be the perfect couple because I don't take myself too seriously. I have a lot of fun. She seems like she's a very fun, cool person too. We can joke around, laugh and play, but I'm also somebody that she can rely on. I'm very, very loyal and trustworthy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like that one got him yeah, interested. He's like, loyal. wait a second, you heard loyalty. loyalty. He was like, this. All right, Chris. Uh, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> I'd honestly be happy with either of them, which is why I'm glad it's my mom and Gallup making the final choice and not me. So this time, I want you both to call him, and then let's see who he goes to and who he has the most fun with. Mm -hmm. All okay. right. It'll be interesting if you're both calling him at the same time and trying to get his attention to see yeah. who yeah. gets him most excited and interested. We'll give it a three, two, one, and then you guys can both start trying to get this man to move. Okay? <laughs> okay. Ready, Mom? Yep. Three, two, one. Gallop. Hey, Gallop. Hey, come here, buddy. Come here. Gallop. Gallop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gallop. Gallop. Hey, Gallop. 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 And the other one is rejected. Rejected. I, I'm Harsh so choice glad of words. Gallop helped out. Yeah, thank God. Because <laughs> that really helped. Because you guys were neck and neck the whole way through. Here we go. This is your envelope. Okay. And this is your envelope. Thank you. Okay. Turn, 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 turn. Oh. What? <laughs> Dog knows best. <laughs> I understand. I trust my mom and Gallup with everything. I know. Oh, I don't yeah. blame you. You guys are a lovely family. I'm happy to admit it this far. It's Thank really you. Cool. Thank yeah, you. We're tough competition. Man. Yeah, you're yeah. great. Yeah. I've been rejected a lot, but never via stamp form. So oh. that kind of hurts, but. I have no idea why you would be game. rejected ever. Uh -huh. ever. You're very kind. Thank you very much. And of it was course. a pleasure meeting you. Of course, yeah. Yes. It was a great experience. <laughs> Goodbye again. Goodbye, it was great. Yeah. Bye. Take care. You guys nice have a good one. You. Thank you. It was so much fun. Gallup is not somebody who wags his tail. He's just not that kind of a dog. He gave Eric some attention, but he was still like kept just going back to Juan. Like, you're cool too, Eric. Sorry, but Juan. Hi, nice to meet you <laughs> officially. Nice to meet you. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Awesomeness TV's Date Takeover. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and feel free to head over to my channel, youtube.com/slash Molly Official. Bye. Bye.